Alberta, Banter and Processional, O Canada.
whatsoever things are true. A promise made here at the University of Alberta over 100 years ago. Today we are gathered to celebrate this commitment to ourselves and to our community. We celebrate with all those who leave here today with their degrees. May you continue to seek truth. May you continue to serve in our global home. May you continue to grow in wisdom and understanding. And may you continue to uphold the university values of integrity, freedom, and the equality and dignity of all persons to create a community filled with promise for the future and goodwill toward all. Please be seated. Welcome to the University of Alberta. My name is Doug Stollery and I have the privilege of serving as Chancellor of the University and conferring all of your degrees today. The University acknowledges that we are located on Treaty 6 territory and respects the histories, languages and cultures of First Nations, Métis, Inuit and all First Peoples of Canada whose presence continues to enrich our vibrant community. On behalf of the entire University community, I'm delighted to welcome you to this convocation. Graduates, we're very pleased that so many of your friends and family members could join us to celebrate your degrees. As you participate in today's ceremony, you are walking in the footsteps of many generations of scholars. Today's formal opening procession to the stage, led by our Chief Marshal and the University Mace, originates in the procession of the Guild of Teachers. Such guilds in past centuries were dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. Individuals moved from apprentice to master to teacher, assuming increasing responsibilities for learning and leadership in society. The many different academic gowns, hoods, and caps here on stage today reflect centuries of university tradition. As Chancellor, I wear our University of Alberta colors of green and gold. The different colors of your own faculty hoods signify to everyone here and to our society the degree that you have earned. Your caps, or Oxford-style mortar boards, may be considered a symbol of the scholar's independence and freedom. Today we're here to celebrate your freedom and to recognize your new leadership roles in our community. We will hear from the chair of our Board of Governors, a member of our Legislative Assembly, and our University President. We will also hear from Dr. Franz lavasseur Wimet, who has accepted our invitation to receive an honorary doctorate of letters, our university's highest honor. An honorary degree recognizes inspiring role models and leaders, celebrating extraordinary achievements or remarkable service to our society. Following the presentation of the honorary degree, we will begin with the recognition of your degrees. One of our deans will present you on behalf of the faculties and our president will guide you through your pledge to pursue the encouragement of learning and the public good. It will then be my great honor to admit you to your degrees and to confer upon you all the rights, privileges and responsibilities that come with being a university graduate. Then it will be your turn up here with us. Each of you will cross the stage as your name is called. For everyone here, that will be the most important part of our ceremony. Your degree will be conferred as I congratulate you and we meet each other on stage. So a word of advice, stop to greet the Chancellor because that is the conferral of your degree. That moment will bind you and the University of Alberta together for all time. Joining us, joining the celebration at the center of the stage with me today is our president, Dr. David Turpin, and the chair of our Board of Governors, Mr. Michael Fair. I'd like to recognize Elder Don Langford, who is here today, to extend a special recognition to Indigenous members of our learning community. Distinguished guests on the convocation stage also include Ms. Linda Duncan, Member of Parliament for Edmonton Strathcona, Ms. Annie McKittrick, MLA for Sherwood Park, and a number of community leaders and members of our academy. I'm very pleased that deans and professors from our faculties of graduate studies and research, arts, extension, and faculty Saint-Jean 
are here to congratulate each graduate as you cross the stage. We're all here to welcome you to our University of Alberta alumni family. I hope you enjoy the day, and I'd like to start by inviting greetings from the chair of our University Board of Governors, Mr. Michael Fair. An eminent Chancellor, Mr. Douglas Stallry, President uh, Dr. David Turpin, distinguished guests, graduates, families, and friends. I'm pleased to be here today on behalf of the Board of Governors to bring the Board's greetings and congratulations. Today is a day of celebration when the university community, along with your family and friends, gathers to celebrate you, the graduating class of 2018. You have achieved a level of excellence that will forever be recognized by your university degree, a University of Alberta degree. Over the years, thousands like you have, in the class of 2018 have left the university to take their place in our ever-changing world in Edmonton, Alberta, and beyond. Along with the university's academic and administrative community, the Board of Governors is committed to excellence in the teaching and research that has supported you and the many who will follow in your footsteps. Collectively and cooperatively, you will be the generation that moves us forward in the arts, in the economy, in knowledge and discovery, and in pursuit of the public good. Your degree is not only a sign of your achievement at the University of Alberta, but it is also the fulfillment of the, tr of the trust and promise of your family and friends that you are the kind of citizen who shares your knowledge, understanding, and thoughtfulness, an individual with skills that are the foundations of a civil society, competent, giving, ethical, and engaged in the challenges and opportunities of today and tomorrow. Congratulations to you, your families, friends, and supporters. Be proud, savor your success, enjoy today, and we wish you the very best for the future. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Ms. Annie McCrittrick, the MLA for Sherwood Park. Thank you, Monsieur McFair. Good morning, bonjour. Eminent Ch Ch Chancellor, Dr. Strolley, President Turpin, Mr. McFair, Dr. Lavasseur Wimé, faculty, staff, graduates, family, and friends. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to bring greetings from Premier Rachel Nudley and the Minister of Advanced Education, the Honorable Marlon Schmidt, and to thank you for inviting me to join you on, on this very special occasion. I would also like to res respectfully acknowledge that we are gathered today here on Treaty 6, traditional lands of First Nations and Métis people. But first of all, I want to, to congratulate Dr. France Lavasseur Wimé for being recognized with an honorary degree of letters degree. Félicitations. On behalf of all Albertans, I thank you for your tremendous leadership, achievements, and contributions. Merci aussi pour, vo pour votre dévouement à élever la culture franco-albertaine à travers votre carrière. Votre influence est sentie à travers toute notre communauté franco-albertaine. Récemment, vous avez aidé la Fédération Jeunesse Franco-Albertaine à célébrer un anniversaire important. Vos chansons sont chantées par nos chorales à travers le Canada et ici à l'université. I know that you have had a tremendous influence on students on Campus Saint-Jean et à l'Université de Alberta. Merci. Thank you for your dedication to the Franco-Albertan community and for working at equipping French immersion teachers so they can support students and encourage them to become bilingual. Dedicated and driven leaders like you inspire all Albertans. Vous êtes une source d'inspiration pour tous les Albertans. The University of Alberta has a strong reputation for developing leaders who are breaking new grounds and blazing their own trails. I see this ambition and drive to succeed in the class of 2018. So, the, so to this class of 2018, today you have reached a significant milestone in your life and you join a long line of graduates whose achievements and contributions have lifted the University of Alberta and our province to new heights. Alberta, Canada, and the world continues to be shaped and impacted by U of A graduates. They can be found all over. Those graduates are linked by a collective spirit and purpose to be catalysts of positive change in everything they do. 
I have every confidence that your education at the University of Alberta will provide you with a strong foundation to build from and build upon. So put into practice what you have learned here, and that will empower you to reach your full potential, realize your dreams, and guide you through whatever challenges lies ahead. And to all the students who may look um, towards a career in education, as the parliamentary secretary to the Minister of Education, I hope that many of you will choose to work at, um, in, in the education system because educators, be it in the K-12 system or post-secondary sector, have a crucial role to play in our communities and in building leadership. So, aux étudiants qui ont choisi d'étudier au Campus Saint-Jean, Vous avez fait un choix important. Vous avez choisi de solidifier votre français, d'appuyer la communauté francophone au Canada et de participer à former des jeunes francophones. J'espère vous voir impliqué dans nos écoles francophones ou d'immersion, dans les organisations francophones, et j'aimerais vous encourager à utiliser votre français le plus possible dans notre communauté. After the worst recession in a generation, Alberta's economy is recovering. With the economy looking up, now it's the time to help more Albertans pursue the education they want. And this is why the government of Premier Rachel Nutley has focused on making post-secondary education more accessible and affordable to all Albertans. We've been providing stable and predictable funding to post-secondary institutions. We've extended the tuition freeze for fourth year to keep costs down for students. And we've invested $50 million to create new spaces so that more post-secondary students can get the education they need to get good jobs in the high-tech sector. In addition, we're also investing $298 million in capital projects in post-secondary institutions. So we are interested in continuing to invest in you, in your, in your possible uh, futures at, a, at the master or PhD level if you're getting a, a first degree here today because education is really key to your success and to the success of Alberta. We all benefit from well-educated people contributing to our communities, societies, and economy. And on a personal note, whatever you, you end up doing, you will always remember the importance of your first degree and how this is gonna shape you in your future decisions. Now that you have this post-secondary credential, this first, second, or third time, there is no limit that you can achieve. Your future awaits you. So remember to continue to believe in yourself, have the courage to take risk, be an innovator, and follow your heart and your passions. Congratulations, felicitations. Now my pleasure to invite Dr. David Turpin, the President of the University of Alberta, to address convocation. Eminent Chancellor, distinguished guests, members of the Academy, staff, family, friends, and especially you, our graduates, congratulations and well done. Today we mark a significant milestone in your lives, the granting of a degree that took years of hard work and dedication. Moments like these are relatively rare in life, and I hope that you will enjoy today and take pride in all that you have accomplished. Convocation is the University of Alberta's most important ceremony, one that is shaped by tradition and symbolism. In this ceremony, we issue your degree and grant you your independence from the university. And we welcome you into a lifelong worldwide community of more than 280,000 U of A alumni. Today, we both liberate you and remind you of the enduring connection you now have with the U of A. It's that tension between independence and community that I want to talk about today. A few years ago, we first welcomed you to the University of Alberta. Ours is a big, diverse, and at times a fractious community. In fact, it would be more accurate to say the U of A is a collection of communities made up of many individuals, groups of people, disciplines, and perspectives that all coexist under one name, each with a corner of campus that they can call their own. Yet, we are one community, 
one that builds bridges and creates communal spaces where we come together to debate our differences and to discover our commonalities. These bridges are both physical and metaphorical. Headways that link law to fine arts, humanities to business, health sciences to education, and engineering to ales. Buses that link North Campus to Campus St. Jean. The LRT that links North Campus to Enterprise Square and South Campus. And highways 14 and 21 linking our Edmonton campuses to Augustana. At our heart, we find places that belong to no one group but instead to all of us at once. Libraries, cafeterias, sub, hub, aquatic facilities, the quad. In these shared spaces, we come together with a common purpose. That is to pursue knowledge, generate original ideas, and discover new truths. So fundamental is this mission to our community that the University of Alberta's motto is Quaecum Cavera, or whatsoever things are true. Pursuing whatsoever things are true is a high ideal, but you and I both know that the discovery and learning of new knowledge is a messy, sometimes rough endeavor. And although on one hand, the pursuit of knowledge is highly individualistic, on the other, New knowledge can only be tested and refined when you cross the metaphorical pedway and see what others think. Before we can arrive somewhere truly new, there's got to be argument and debate, controversy and failure. You can work very hard to solve the problem, prove your thesis or make your case, but eventually you have to bring it into community. And there you may find that someone else has another idea or argument that challenges your own. I hope that during your years here, you have often been confronted with ideas that troubled you, even shocked your sense of the true and the right, and maybe even infuriated you. It is in these moments that you've learned how to do the hard work of stepping outside of yourself to uncover your own biases and assumptions and examine how they affect your perspective on a problem. Sometimes, and this can be tough, you have had to admit that you were wrong, that the evidence doesn't support what you thought was true and you need to change your position. At the same time, I also hope you've had the experience of knowing when you've developed an idea that is worth defending because you found the evidence and the argument to do so. There's been a constant debate in society about the role of a university education. Some people argue that its primary goal should be to prepare you for independence, for your own professional career success. Others contend that the primary goal should be to prepare you for citizenship and service to your community. These diverging views of the university have been with us for at least 200 years. Still, Universities endure, and university graduates continue to bring enormous value to their communities, both as individuals and as citizens. So, how can you best serve your community? Paradoxically, by prizing and protecting your capacity to think for yourself, and respecting and protecting the right of others to do the same. And how can universities best serve society? by prizing and protecting their autonomy and independence so that we can continue to give people like you the space and support you need to think independently without fear of external control or reprisal. To do otherwise would put a constraint on the imagination that would slow the speed of innovation and change, if not suppress it altogether. You, our students and graduates, would learn that conformity rather than creativity and innovation is the goal of learning and education. Instead, we need you to be independent thinkers. We need you to question conventional wisdom, challenge the status quo, and propose alternative futures. Why? Because major technological, economic, environmental, social, and cultural shifts lie ahead. 
Alberta, Canada, and the world need your leadership. We need your generation to shake us out of our sense of complacency and our sense of what's right. We need a new objectivity to help move us forward. So be brave, be courageous, and take risks. Continually devote yourself to seeking and learning. Strive to create new ideas, and don't fear testing them and debating them within your communities. We have confidence in you. We look back on what past generations of U of A alumni have accomplished, and we know that you, like them, will take on the challenge. You, too, will become the future thinkers, creators, and builders of vibrant, diverse, and prosperous communities. So thank you for all that you will do, and congratulations to each and every one of you. We look forward with great anticipation to all of your future accomplishments. Thank you and congratulations. Knowledge shall not be the concern of scholars alone. The uplifting of the whole people shall be its final goal. They inspire us all with their brilliance, creative force, and fervent desire to make the world a better place. I accept in the name of our poor people. Dream your dreams. It is possible to have a new kind of world. Those who receive an honorary degree from the University of Alberta set the highest standards of dedication and excellence for students and for society at large. It is a good day to be you. Remember who you are. Remember where you come from. And while their backgrounds and fields of endeavor vary widely, all are exceptional. Maybe it's best if I just speak from the heart. We face today a clash of ignorances. You are who make the history. You are who create the future. U of A honorary degree recipients embody the university's vision to inspire the human spirit through outstanding achievements in learning, discovery, and citizenship in a creative community. Your generation will be called upon to balance what is now moving quickly to a tipping point. I think we are now in the threshold of a new beginning. It is a spirit that is building one of the world's great universities for the public good. It is your attitude that will sustain you. It is not what happens to you, it is what you do with it. Go out and not simply change the world, go out and save the world. That is what I would seek you to do. Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of the University of Alberta, it is my privilege to introduce France Cécile 
Levasseur we met for the honorary degree of Doctor of Letters, our institution's highest honor. De père acadien et de mère montréalaise, France Levasseur naît en Alberta et poursuit ses études à l'Université de l'Alberta. Elle y obtient son doctorat en 1982. Elle enseigne à la faculté Saint-Jean jusqu'en 2002. Elle joue un rôle de premier plan dans le développement du programme en éducation de la faculté Saint-Jean et contribue à en faire le principal centre de formation des maîtres pour les écoles d'immersion et francophones dans l'ouest du Canada. Elle est l'auteur de plus de 40 publications scientifiques. Passionnée de théâtre, elle est actrice et metteur en scène. Elle a plus de 30 pièces de théâtre à son actif et continue chaque année d'en produire de nouvelles. Elle a aussi composé plus de 15 pièces de musique. As a musician, to use the words of Laurier Fagnon, music director of Choral Saint-Jean, I quote, she has the capacity to write music that will seek the spirit of words and history, end of quote. It is therefore not by chance that one of a musical composition, Je te retrouve, originally composed for the 100th anniversary of the University of Alberta, now concludes every single convocation ceremony at the University of Alberta. One of her most important stage and musical pieces, Elle s'appelait Marie, a major historical dramatic choral work relating the courage and determination of Francophone pioneer women in Alberta at the turn of the 20th century, was performed to great acclaim at the 400th anniversary of the foundation of Quebec City. Among many awards, she received the YMCA Community Service Award from the city of Edmonton, the Ordre des Francophones d'Amérique from the Conseil Supérieur de la Langue Française from the Government of Quebec, and she has been a member of the Compagnie des Saints Associés since 1992. Membre distingué de la communauté francophone de l'Alberta, elle sait comment traduire en musique et en théâtre l'histoire et la vitalité des francophones de l'Alberta pour lesquels elle a joué un rôle central dans la collecte et la protection du patrimoine. Eminent Chancellor, with great pride and respect, I present France Cécile Levasseur Wimé. Cécile Levasseur Rimet, in recognition of enduring contributions to the performing arts and our understanding of history, culture, and education, I desire to confer upon you the honorary degree of Doctor of Letters and to express the hope that we shall continue to be enriched by your wise counsel for many years to come. Congratulations. Thank you. Eminent Chancellor, President Turpin, members of the Board of Governors, faculty members, distinguished guests, family and friends, chers finissants, finissantes. I know that today I could speak of the thirst for knowledge, of the importance of research, of leadership, but I have chosen to speak of what I call glorious days because they're special and they're quite rare and they must not be taken lightly. They occur for a variety of reasons. A birthday, good news, a sunset, will sometimes give rise to a glorious day. And so will days like today, where relief and pride at having accomplished something important are mingled with anticipation and hope for the future. Many of my glorious days have occurred when celebrating family events the birth of my children, 
their successes and accomplishments, their hopes and dreams. But many have also been the result of my work in my community, my committee work, my work with Coral Saint-Jean, my work with my senior theater troupe. When, when my 82-year-old comédienne explains to me that when she was young, only the boys in her family were allowed to do theater. And that it's really quite a shame because she has just discovered how good an actress she really is. <laughs> well, my humdrum day became glorious. My community has helped me to become who I am. It has allowed me to grow. It has helped me to grieve, to heal, and to celebrate. It has given me a sense of belonging and of participating in meaningful work. My community has given me many, many glorious days. And at the heart of this community is Campus Saint-Jean, where I've taught for many years. Cher finissant, finissant, j'ai connu tous les stages du développement de Saint-Jean à titre d'étudiante, de jeune enseignante, de professeur de langue, de littérature, de pédagogie. C'est à Saint-Jean que j'ai appris à enseigner, à faire du théâtre, à aimer le chant choral. Saint-Jean a une magnifique histoire et nous sommes, vous et moi, le produit de cette histoire. Et j'ose même dire que nous en sommes les quartiers. Glorious days are not only made up of pleasant memories. They're a source of hope and courage, of strength and purpose, and of the firm belief that no matter what career you choose or what path you decide to follow, each and every one of you will make a difference in someone's life, in the life of your family, of your community, and even of your world. I'm not going to pretend to know that what kind of world tomorrow is going to be like. I sometimes wonder if I understand the world we live in now. I can't predict that you will be successful, that your hard work will ensure you many successes. I sure hope so. But there is one thing that I can say with all certainty. You will have glorious days, and you must cherish them because they will help you through difficult times. They will help you believe in yourself. They will help you work for those in need. And they will give meaning to your life. Yes, today is a glorious day. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. Thank you for making this a glorious day for each and every one of us here. And now I'm very pleased to ask you to sign our honor roll. And that makes it official. You are now a member of the University of Alberta Class of 2018. Welcome to our family. And now, graduates, it's your turn. As the name of each graduate is called across the stage, I will formally admit you to your degrees and we will have an opportunity to congratulate you. On your journey across the stage, you will walk past the University of Alberta ceremonial mace, which you'll see in the middle of the stage. Centuries ago, the mace was a symbol of authority over life and death. Today, this mace represents the life-changing power of knowledge and the importance of our university and our graduates in the community. I look forward to meeting you here on stage. Could the candidates for degrees please rise? All of you, that's good. 
And please follow along on page five of your convocation program. You do have a written response, or a spoken response. I guess it's too late for written responses. So please follow along. Eminent Chancellor and President, on behalf of the faculties, I pledge to you these scholars, I present to you these scholars, and ask that they be pledged and admitted to the degrees to which they are entitled. Do you promise faithfully to observe and loyally to maintain the statutes, customs, privileges, and liberties of this, your university? Do you solemnly promise to conduct yourself in all things loyally and faithfully to the honor of your university, the encouragement of learning, and the good of your community? By virtue of the authority vested in me by the legislature of this province and with the consent of this university, I admit you to the degrees to which you are entitled and invest you with all the powers, rights, privileges pertaining to such degrees. I charge you to use them for the uplifting of the whole people, to inspire the human spirit, to serve your community for the public good, and to pursue more steadfastly whatsoever things are true. Please be seated. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of Professor Leslie Comack and Professor Brian Hogeveen, I present the following graduates for degrees in the Faculty of Arts and Faculty of Graduate Studies and Research for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Helen Dorothy Frost. Heidi Lu. <laughs> Daniel Chester Forrest Sims. Zena Taraf. Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Master of Arts, Afra Anika. Jake Ekebrecht Bridges. Letitia, oops. this is Letitia Barbara Johnson. Gada Sayadi. Adam Douglas Nicholas Whitford. Michael John Harry Woolley. Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Master of Science, Karen Josebeth Hernandez. Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Master of Fine Arts, Angela Rose Marino.
Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of Professor Leslie Cormack, I present the following graduates for degrees in the Faculty of Arts. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honors, the recipient of the Dr. John McDonald Medal in Arts and the Prairie History Medal, Margaret Susan Schultz with First Class Honors. Margaret Schultz is this year's recipient of the Dr. John McDonald Medal in Arts. It is given by the Faculty of Arts to the graduating student that has shown the highest distinction in scholarship in the Bachelor of Arts Honors Program. This award was endowed in the memory of Dr. John McDonald, the former chair of the Department of Philosophy and Psychology, and a former dean of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences. Margaret has excelled throughout her undergraduate program, receiving numerous awards and scholarships, including the Mary Cameron Douglas Memorial Scholarship. She has dedicated countless hours to campus and community engagement, including her time as volunteer coordinator for the Heart of the City Music Program, a, student union, a student's union group that offers free music lessons to children in inner city schools. Upon graduation, Margaret is hoping to secure a job in a Canadian museum. She is excited by the possibility of pursuing graduate studies in history, public history, library and information studies, or education. Congratulations, Margaret. Desiree Vian Abtomko with First Class Honours. Sarah Elizabeth Birkinshaw with First Class Honours. Arden Ann Burtnick with First Class Honours. Paula Casillas with First Class Honours. Megan Rose Edgson with First Class Honours. Karebi Tamaratonye Eric with First Class Honours. <laughs> Brittany Nicole Hubli with First Class Honours. <laughs> Briggs Austin Larguinho with First Class Honours. <laughs> Austin Marie Lee with First Class Honours. Juliana Laura McPhail with First Class Honours. Katya Emily Miral with First Class Honours. Sean Douglas Oliver with First Class Honours. Receiving today both her Bachelor of Arts and Certificate in International Learning, Kate Dean Peter with First Class Honours. Melina Elizabeth Sinclair with First Class Honours. Brooklyn Victoria Sutton with First Class Honours. Recipient of the Duncan Alexander McGibbon Medal in Economics, Katerina Vasilevsky with First Class Honours. Recipient of the Rutherford Medal in English and the Sarah Nettie Christie Prize in English, Catherine Elaine Wells with First Class Honours. <laughs> Jasmine Zip with First Class Honours. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Matthew James Acton with distinction. Christina Louise Halinko Afonso. Montiel Lorenz Aguillon. Megan Rita Loretta Albert. Alexandra Allen with distinction. Jared Nathan Althaus. Woo! 
Angela Mary Ann Anderson. Recipient of the William C. Wonders Medal in Geography, Cole Ethan Anderson with distinction. Joelle Emily Marie Anakiarko with distinction. Diego Alfonso Arciniega. Ope Temetayo Awulusi with distinction. <laughs> A popular choice. Mian Bai. Michelle Rebecca Bailey. Receiving today both a Bachelor of Arts and Certificate in International Learning, Josephine Marie Kona Bakker with distinction. And if that was Baker, I, I apologize. Receiving today both a Bachelor of Arts and Certificate in Interdisciplinary Leadership Studies, Carolyn Victoria Barlow with distinction. <laughs> Danielle Lauren Bechard. <laughs> Nicholas Matthew Began. <laughs> Peter Friedrich Benson. Anne Elizabeth Billingsley. <laughs> Chloe Ray Burns with distinction. <laughs> Luyao Kai. <laughs> Azul Marilla Calder. Tyler Douglas Caldwell. Li Fen Fang Chao. Haley Rochelle Cowett. Christine Alexandra Champagne. Dennis Chun Hei Chan. Chun Chen. Shu Jie Chen. Shu Qi Chen. Si Yun Chen. Michelle Ashley Ka Ling Chang. Si Wun Choi. Justin Lap Fung Chong. Wing Chi Chu. Brenna Louise Clark with distinction. Elisa Tamara Clement. Ashley Megan Coleman. Brittany Ann Curry. Receiving today both his Bachelor of Arts and a Certificate in Translation Studies, Matthew Colway Danzinger. <laughs> Ali Teresa Lillian DeMello. Recipient of the Anthropology Graduating Scholarship, Skylar Page Deschner with distinction. <laughs> Esther Vita Dimalanta. <laughs> du Ding. <laughs> um 
un chi ding. Brendan Derek Disher. Carly Ann Doran. Shannon Corey Doyle. Julie Melissa Muir Dranit Saris. Jachi Duan. Madison Holly Marie Dubé. Craig Patrick Dvorak. Mariama Elmi. Arden Victoria Eskins. Habib Azimokai. Hamza Tahir Faruqi. Haiwan Fang. <laughs> Kathleen Hillary Fitzgibbon. <laughs> Jacob David Flett. <laughs> Danielle Monica Fonseca with distinction. John William Forbes. <laughs> Lu Yao Gao. <laughs> Carolyn Gartrell with distinction. <laughs> Wang Yi Ge. <laughs> Emily Christine Mary Irene Girling with distinction. David Nicholas James Geese with distinction. <laughs> Isabel Vasquez Gomez. <laughs> Johanna Marcela Gomez. <laughs> Vanessa Nic Nicole Greaves. Receiving today both his Bachelor of Arts and Certificate in Sustainability, Cody Brock Gretzinger with distinction. Gigi Gue. Ting Rang Guo. Spencer Kathleen Halfyard with distinction. It is a busy day for this lady. She's receiving her Bachelor of Arts, Certificate in Peace and Post-Conflict Studies, Certificate in Globalization and Governance, her Certificate in International Learning, and a Certificate in Global Citizenship. Gaida Abdel Nasser Abdullah Hamdan. <laughs> Ruth Ann Hazlitt with distinction. Chingwan Ha. Is it Ali? El Genevieve Hendershot. <laughs> Timothy Brett Hickson. <laughs> Alexander Gavin Hogg with distinction. Shania Jasmine Vera Horn with distinction. Yu yeah. Hu. Janine Charisse Isaac. Marcus Ricky Jackson with distinction.
Kirsten Marie Jensen with distinction. Quan Chi Jiang. Claudia Erica Margaret Kelly. Madison Sarah Killingsworth. Emily Kim. Isabel Kim with distinction. Alexandria Megan King. Darby Kinney with distinction. Jeffrey George Kuchika Real. Stephanie Nicole Kovac. Chao Lang. Josiana Beatriz Lara. Jack Lawrence with distinction. Haun Li. Jisoo Annie Lee. Tsi Wing Lee. Paige Alexandra Liao. Kitty Lee. Liang Ju Lee. Shui Li, Se Yang Li, Ran Liang, Jia Lin, Jia Xin Liu, Ning Liu. Ting Liu. Receiving both her Bachelor of Arts and Research Certificate in Arts, Yu Yuan Liu. Zhe Chen Liu. Raylene Elizabeth Lung. Bridget Ann Line. Rana Idnan Maruf with distinction. Darby Mariah Veronica McDonald with distinction. Eric Mayer Paradis. Samantha Marie Margaret Mazak. Teresa Mbudzi. Jenny McGrath with distinction. Anna Teresa McMurchy with distinction. Lee, or the Leah Marie Mendoza. Marcus Galen Miller with distinction. Miguel Arturo Monsalve. Receiving both his Bachelor of Arts and Certificate in International Learning, Daniel Robert Morin with distinction. Chasse Moussemwa. Caitlin Ray Nelson.
Teresa Bao An Nguyen with distinction. Wei Shi Ning. Angelique Bethany Nish. Kundiso Jefta Nyambirai. Denise Ozgan, with distinction. Tian Tu Peng. Alex Patterson. Gwyneth Esther Pheasant Lust, with distinction. Morgan Justine Phillips. Jose Nina Marie Piquet with distinction. <laughs> Leah Emily Plecash. <laughs> Alicia Hatan Alexandra Pupar. <laughs> Sarah Lynn Priestley. <laughs> Yen Pu. Maya Veronica Pumphrey. <laughs> Zheng Rong Chen. <laughs> Jishyong Chin. <laughs> Wei Chu. This is Ha Ren Chu. Ha Ren Chu. Kennedy Camille Quigley, with distinction. <laughs> Braden Colin Randall. Anyway. Anu Rao. <laughs> Corinne Tracy Riedel, with distinction. Leah Kiona Rind, with distinction. Shin Jie Rong, with. That's it. <laughs> Alyssa Sampson. Evelyn Jane Shibley. This one is with distinction. Oriana Jean Scullion. Emily Suzanne Donna Sexton. Xiao Yao Liu. Shu Tian Sheng, with distinction. Li Ying Shi. Jogish Singh Sidhu. Christopher Patrick Smitten, with distinction. Uh, receiving today her Bachelor of Arts and her Certificate in Translation Studies, Mackenzie St. Louis. <laughs> receiving a Bachelor of Arch Arts and a Certificate in International Learning, Lindsay Donnell Stewart. <laughs> Kimberly Ray Stone, with distinction. Receiving today a Bachelor of Arts as well as a Certificate in Interdisciplinary Leadership Studies, Madeleine Anna Stout. Meng Ting Sun. 
Chiu Pang Sun. Zhe Yu Sun. Zhe Yu Sun. Liao Tang. Tulith Nayanake. Kayla Tang. Taya Noella Tebow with distinction. Paul Douglas Thressel with distinction. Dong Wu Tian. Emma Marie Van Oss with distinction. Chris William Dale Varvis. Patricia Tina Veldstra. Haiyan Wang. Shi Wu Wang. Yu Shan, Yu Shan. Wu Xuan Wang. Daniel Lawrence Weber. Tian Shu Wei. Dennis John Werbicki. Rachel Ann Waringa with distinction. Ruby Megan Wiersma with distinction. Matthew Anders Wilberg. Brett James Williamson. Madison Kendall Wilson with distinction. Sylvia Wong with distinction. Receiving today a Bachelor of Arts and a Certificate in Finance, Yan Yi Wong. Wan Ying Wu. Yi Ting Chen. Yi Ting Xia. Receiving a Bachelor of Arts and a Certificate in International Learning, Angie Xiao. Yi Chi Xia. Yi Chi Xia. Huan Yan Yu Yang. Yi Fei. Yi Fei Yang. Yi Min Yang. Yi Min Yang. Yi Zhou Yang. Wu Dou Yao. Julie Ji Won Yim. Kevin Yu. Hoi Ting Janet Yu. Meng Jie Yu. Yang Yu. Kathy Zhang. Han Zhang. Han Zhang. 
Hao Ya Zhang. Receiving a Bachelor of Arts and a Certificate in International Learning, Hui Lian Zhang. Sky Zhang. Sky Zhang. Fang Ye Zhao. Fang Ye Zhao. Li Zhuan Zhao. Receiving today a Bachelor of Arts and a Certificate in Translation Studies, Li Zhuan Zhao, with distinction. Duan Ying Zhao. Duan Ying Zheng. Zhuge Zhang. Huyi Zhou. Yu Chuan Zhou. Yu Chuan Zhou. Zi Hui Zhou. Zi Wei Zhou. Zi Hong Zhang. Jing Rong Zheng. Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Bachelor of Fine Arts in Art and Design, Ryan Robert Andrade. Brianna Joelle Barrington. Maya Candler with distinction. Patrick Nicholas Carr. Fair. Bradley Alexander Fair with distinction. Eminent Chancellor for the Rio Bachelor of Design, Riva Lana Augustine. Xin Yi Chen. Marie Louise Simbaco Espendido. Jennifer Fan. Chelsea Finn. Kirsten Gerard. Anna Eva Guzik with distinction. Rachel Lynn Kilo. Gawi Maria Kinchuk. Trevor Benho Lau. Jared Scott McKay. Persia Kathleen McKinney Duncan with distinction. <laughs> Amelia Lauren Nash with distinction. <laughs> Gordon Low. <laughs> Cyril Okoye. <laughs> Catherine Irene Schmaltz with distinction. Maxwell Grant Turner. Paul Preston Hamilton Twa with distinction. Jonathan Mark Webster. Jaylene Margaret Wilkie. Lena Wood. Nai Wen Chu. Jo Ren Zhang. Eminent Chancellor for the Rear Bachelor of Fine Arts and Drama, Ellen Isabel Burquist with distinction. <laughs> Jacob Guy Blakely with distinction. 
Jesse Chung with distinction. <laughs> Elise Catherine Michelle Jason. <laughs> Sarah Elizabeth Carpishan with distinction. <laughs> Priya Ashleen Narain. Kiana Marie Wu with distinction. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of Professor Katie Campbell and Professor Brian Hogaveen, I present the following graduates for degrees in the Faculty of Extension and Graduate Studies and Research. For the degree of Master of Arts in Communications and Technology, Atif Alam. Shemelis Marissa Gabrimachal. Kara Ainsley Butler McInnes. Eminent Chancelier, au nom de la Professeur Pierre Eve Moquet and Professor Brian Hogevin, j'ai de l'honneur de vous présenter les gradués des baccalauréats de la Faculty Saint-Jean et de la Faculty de, de Graduate Studies and Research. Éminence au grade de maîtrise en sciences de l'éducation, Sean Mathieu Arsenault. Éminent chancelier, en nom de la professeure Pierre-Yves Moquet, j'ai l'honneur de vous présenter les gradués des baccalauréats de la Faculté Saint-Jean. Au grade de baccalauréat et sciences, gagneur de la médaille d'or des Pères au Blas, Étienne Paul Vincent, avec distinction. Etienne Vincent is this year's recipient of uh, Le Medaille d'Or awarded by the Faculty Saint-Jean to the graduating student who has shown the highest distinction in scholarship. This award was endowed by Le Fonds Saint-Jean. Etienne is graduating today from the Faculty Saint-Jean with a Bachelor of Science. Throughout his academic career, he has shown dedication and commitment to his studies, resulting in a 3.9 GPA. Etienne has dedicated significant time to volunteering and mentorship. He served as an executive member of the soccer club at Campus Saint-Jean, as well as group leader for the Starlight Performance Camp, a free day camp for children living with a chronic illness or disability who may feel restricted by their condition. Etienne has uh, been interested in health sciences from an early age, leading him to get involved in various research projects on campus, such as one on the importation of malaria into Alberta and its effect on our health care and population. Etienne hopes to carry his love for sports and his passion for health sciences into his future career. He plans to attend medical school here in Canada to become a medical doctor, furthering his love of helping others and giving back to his community. Etienne, congratulations. Éminence au grade de baccalauréat et arts, Marie Canadine de Luna. Jordan Caitlin Hadfield. Mohamed Bakar Hadji with distinction. Stephen Kendall Kassaram. Jillian Kastendek. <laughs> Stephen Lafleche. <laughs> Sarah Lavia Mizade. <laughs> Paulina Lazarini Sanchez. <laughs> Olivia Margot Leclerc. Nicole Marie José Lemire. Yeah. 
Niam O'Carroll avec distinction. Christiana Alexandra Pop. Eminence au grade de baccalauréat et sciences, Kane Aubin Pinock. Durell O'Keefe Byron. Alina Don Barnade Nelson. Receiving today both baccalauréat en saison and baccalauréat en education, Nadia Christine Candido. Another dual uh, baccalaureate in en science and on education, Rebecca Lynn, sorry, Rebecca Amy Lynn Cowden. Receiving today deux degrés en, avec distinction, les deux, en baccalauréat en sciences et en éducation. Avalon Page Crowley avec distinction. En réussite de baccalauréat en sciences et baccalauréat en éducation, Emily Irene ou Irene Croy avec distinction. Catherine Julie Gagnon avec distinction. Elise Marie Harrison. A dual, a dual recipient of Baccalaureat of Science and a certificate in interdisciplinary leadership studies, Claudia Diana Holody. Receiving today both her Baccalaureat of Science and certificate in international learning, Nicolette Melanie Horvath, avec distinction. Youssef Kaladi avec distinction. Caitlin Julia Kresik. Receiving a double baccalaureate en sciences et en education, Kendra Lee Ritter. Donna Sadagi. Doris Graziella, Yamiko Siriam, Sirama, I'm sorry. I believe that was Siriman, excuse me, ma'am. Elizabeth Jane Voy. Eminence au grade de baccalauréat en education, Faruja Alash. Haley Corinne Bales. Fusi Matthias Choka, the second, avec distinction. Alexandra Daigle, avec distinction. Marissa May Davy. Asma El Waslati, avec distinction. Sydney Ann Emerson. Megan Darcy Gebert. Le récipient de la médaille d'or, Marie-Louise Bourgueureux. Marie-Lou Gariapi, avec distinction. Charlotte May Garneau. Sydney Garneau. Iman Hajamed. Kelsey Jean Hefford. Romain Impele Ngabele. Noura Imani with dis avec distinction. 
April Kerr with distinction. Jean-Baptiste Kitoko. Kwako Nogues Kwako avec distinction. Alexis Samantha Lum. Courtney Brianne Mathieu. Nawal Matmat. -mat. Judy Parent. Haley Emma Patricia Rovensky. Elizabeth Savard Lavoie avec distinction. Jordan Bryce Samel. James William Smith. Sasha Louise Steinbring avec distinction. Ashley Dawn Pepin Stevens avec distinction. Megan Emily Tomlinson. Pierre-Luc Vachon avec distinction. Kimberly Marie Workington avec distinction. Et bien, le chancelier, au nom de la professeure Pierre-Ève Moquet, et j'ai l'honneur de vous présenter les gradués des diplômes et du Centre collégial de l'Alberta, Campus Saint-Jean, diplôme de technique d'administration des affaires, Fabrice Aristide Cabor. <laughs> and Kielandawa Jules Mpake. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the faculties, I present to you the remaining scholars whose names appear in the convocation program, but who are not in attendance. Well, graduates, you've made it. You are now officially on the other side. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2018. Well now, graduates, it's your turn. It's your turn to stand up and turn around and get everyone's attention. Let's give the people who have supported you through all of this, your parents and siblings, your grandparents, spouses, children and friends, stand up and give them a huge round of applause.
Today is truly a proud moment for them and for the University of Alberta. In total, we will graduate 6,713 students at convocation ceremonies held over the next two weeks. Now that we've got you all back with us, it's time to turn our attention to the final part of today's ceremony. Before you are formally welcomed into the University of Alberta Alumni Association, I invite you to watch the screens for the presentation of a special video montage. The song that accompanies the video, Je Te Retrouve, or I Remember You, was commissioned by Campus Saint Jean in 2008 to honor the U of A centenary. It captures the hopefulness and potential of days spent at the university and hopefully sparks your own memories of your time here. The song is also a display of many U of A talents. It was arranged by U of A alumnus Dr. Alan Bevan and composed by Professor Emeritus and now honorary degree recipient Dr. Franz lavassier wimet in honor of the awarding of an honorary degree to Dr. Lavassier we made today, we are pleased to welcome live Chorale Saint-Jean under the direction of Laurier Fagnan. The choir will perform the song along with the video montage. Following that piece, the choir will also perform Parlez-moi, also composed by Dr. Lavassier we made, and arranged by Alan Bevan to commemorate the honorary degree to Dr. Lavoisier. We may. Please enjoy.
Eminent Chancellor. Thank you, merci. To the 2018 graduating class, congratulations and welcome. My name is Robert Ryan Thompson, and I graduated from the University of Alberta in 2013. And it is my honor to congratulate you on becoming a University of Alberta alumnus and to officially welcome you into our alumni family. You are joining a proud and inspired group of graduates committed to each other's success and committed to building the University of Alberta into one of the world's great universities for the public good. I call upon you to stay connected with each other, with other alumni, and with your university throughout your lifetime. We will be there for you, for each other, and for our university. I also call upon you to go out from this place and be inspired by the promise and challenge of our alumni to do great things. Our alumni have done many great things in the past. Now it is your turn. Great things are actions, big and small. They can take place anywhere, anytime. They support other alumni, the university, and our society. And they come from using the knowledge and talents you have gained here for the betterment of yourselves and others. Félicitations et bonne chance. Congratulations and best wishes in all your future endeavors. And now, please turn your attention to the screen. No matter what your story, where you came from, what it took to get here, at this place, you were welcomed. You became part of our family. At this place, you inherited a spirit of innovation, of action, of coming together to uplift the whole people. Our school and our spirit have grown, but we still learn, innovate, lead, solve problems, take action. We raise up our communities and we help others succeed. We are University of Alberta alumni, and for more than a century, we have come together and carved a new trail for those who follow. Together, we are stronger. Together, we shine brighter. Together, from this place into the world. Together, we have, and we will, do great things. In closing, I'd like to offer a few words of thanks. Dr. Franz Lavasseur, we met. Thank you again for sharing your story and your wisdom with our university family. You're an inspiring example of leadership, service, and accomplishment. In accepting this honorary degree, you bring great honor to the University of Alberta. I also wish to thank our talented vocalist, Miss Elise Noyes, the Chorale Saint-Jean under the direction of Laurier Fagnon for their two pieces today, and our outstanding convocation band under the direction of Dr. Thomas Dust. And I wish to acknowledge the hard work of the staff of the Office of the Registrar for their organization of today's convocation. I'm pleased to invite everyone to join us in the main floor and first balcony lobbies for refreshments and conversation. Finally, to our graduates. Congratulations for all that you have accomplished leading up to the conferral of your degree. Today is an important milestone in a journey of lifelong learning. Your education here will open new horizons for you and for our entire community. Wherever your dreams may take you, I invite you to remain close to your alma mater, the University of Alberta. One final thought. As you contemplate your future, I encourage you to remember that of all the things that you may do, of all the successes you may achieve, nothing is more important than the kindness you show to others. Thank you.